Welcome back to the shed. There's the box. And that's what's on top. 80 kilos of it. I think it's obvious what it is. But maybe not. So, it's a CNC router, which is computer and numerical controlled router, which is one of those controlled by computer rather than by hand. A spindle with a cutter. Simple. And absolutely invaluable in the shed. That's the spindle. The cutter is under there, and all the rest is to support the spindle, move the spindle, and support the work. So basically now, draw something in CAD, export it to the control software, control software, export it to this computer, and it gets on with it. So it can sit on the side of the shed, wherever, it's on wheels, and just work all day cutting stuff, shaping stuff, carving stuff, making beautiful stuff. Lots of stuff. But why? Why did I want that? Well, I wanted a desktop CNC. I've been uh, tinkering with one. I've been tinkering with one I borrowed from a good friend, Stepcraft D840. They never existed when I started with uh, CNCs years ago, when I made furniture. We had this massive thing which cost, uh, I have no idea, 100,000, 100,000 euro. The boss bought it. Anyway, the little Stepcraft, it's great. Can't run it too fast because it can jam a little bit. The motor, you can't push it too hard because it's quite a light motor. I think it weighs 25 kilos, so it's not very stable. So I started looking around and uh, there's an absolute boatload of uh, desktop CNC's out nowadays. Most of them in kit form though. And I love kits. We saw from the last video, I love kits. I love building stuff. But in this case, I didn't really fancy spending a day or two days building a kit for a desktop CNC when I just wanted to make stuff and eventually make money. Those machines are fabulous. You know, I've seen them all over the net. They all do what they say on the box. They machine stuff well, accurately. They often need a little bit of tinkering, adjustment, upgrades. So the base price starts creeping up once you start fiddling with it. Plus the time you've got to invest in building it, whatever. So it didn't really appeal to me. And most of them use just that anyway, which is adequate. They just stick that in and then routing around. But I thought I'll look around. So I looked around and not really on the radar, I found another type of desktop CNC which looks more industrial but it's actually an entry level machine would you believe this is an imagination to reality number four they have an, a six and an eight the difference is in the length of the bed the working area this working area is 610 by 610 next one's a bit bigger and the last one the biggest one is 1200 by 610 I think so now I've got a one horsepower motor. I don't know what this is rated at. Specifically made for that. So it's going to be massively robust. All this section gives stability. 80 kilos gives weight and stability. It arrived like that. So I don't have to fiddle with a kit. Got it on the bench, up and running in, a, in a half an hour, I would say, literally. I just screwed the end caps on and I was ready to roll. What's the main difference with this and the kit stuff? Stability, stability is a massive thing. Drive systems, to keep prices down, I mean, this, this compares in price to a lot of the entry level stuff in the kit stuff as well. All the axes are on linear bearing guides. They're not running on plastic wheels on extrusions or rollers. The drive shaft is not an Acme screw, so it's not a, a th screw thread like you get on a bolt with a nut, which is being pushed through by the, st by the stepper motor. This is a bearing guide, so it's running on bearings on a threaded bar, but specifically designed for the bearings. Used in industrial machines for accuracy, for maintenance. If you get dust on it, it just it, the dust rolls out of it. It's got them on all axis, this machine, as standard. 
no upgrade needed. It's tidy, you know, there's no cables dangling around. I've got two cables at the back, which I'm printing right now, printing a shroud to go over that. It looks the part. And all the reading up I did on all the desktop machines, all the kit stuff, they all needed tweaking, they all fettling, upgrading, and a lot of complaints, a lot of people happy. This one, I, I, I literally saw no complaints about it. Just setup issues and, and user issues mostly. But reliability, pff, there were people using them already for years. Now the people I found that had this, because I'm in Europe, were Stony CNC. Uh, Stony CNC uh, in Ireland and the UK. I saw the UK and I thought, oh, oh no, that's not going to happen. Brexit, I'm never going to get it here. But they have an office in Ireland. Well, they are from Ireland, I think. So it's no problem. I could get a ship from Ireland, pay in euro, no issues. And I had some very good communication with them, the guys there. Advice, you know, they won't push you at all. They, they make the CNC's, they, they import CNC's, they sell all sorts of computer cutting machinery. This is baby, this is their baby stuff. They have massive stuff, bigger than my shed, literally. So very good communication with them. Um, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go with it. Ordered it, it was here very, very quickly. I had a couple of emails with them today just to inquire about the setting up I thought I was on the right track just with the software and stuff, and I was, no problem. So basically, if you're in the market for a desktop CNC and you're looking at all the kits, I'm not saying names, you know, they're not saying they're bad, have a good look at this brand, seriously. I mean, it, looks, it looks industrial. It's simple, computer unit there. I'm gonna put a vacuum extractor thing in here probably. I'm going to hopefully build one in. So it's a completely self-contained rolling unit, which I can move anywhere in the shed, stick it out the way when I'm not using it, or in fact when I am using it. There you go. I'm not going to run it now. I'm going to do some more videos of it running once I've got it set up as I want and the extraction on, because the extraction is critical on this. It's moving so fast, the chips just fly. And I don't want to spend all my day vacuuming the shed all day, every day. I want as much as possible going to extraction system. So first reveal, more will come. And I'm very, very excited to get used to getting using this machine and just seeing if it's up to what it promises. So thanks again for watching. And obviously I do need a bigger shed.